that is tonight's outfit. I just want to swoosh. Hello there and welcome back to my channel. So, okay, that was a bit bumpy. Something completely different today. I'm going to try a little bit of a travel vlog. Um, we're going to Loch Ness Castle in Donegal, which is absolutely stunning. Um, so I hope to be able to show you a bit of the castle um, and some of the outfits that I'm going to wear when we're there and the bags that I've taken brought with me, obviously, although I have been very restrained. Um, so yeah, husband is, husband is driving. Um, he's shooting me daggers because apparently I never drive and he always does. Um, and I will spin you around and show you a little bit of uh, Donegal countryside. This is quite typical, but it's lashing, um, which is probably always quite, also quite typical. But I'll let you have a quick look and then we'll see the castle and see how we go. So this is us coming just up to Loch Ness Castle. I tried um, the scenery on the way in, but the rain was just too heavy. But luckily it has stopped a little bit and we're just going to go up the driveway. These are the gates in the Loch Esk and then this driveway, or Loch Esk Castle, and the driveway takes you up to the actual castle itself. Um, this is actually where we got married. Um, it was the first venue that we looked at and when we drove up this driveway and came to the castle at the end, um, I was just completely blown away and still am when we come, I still get blown away by this place. And we didn't need to look at any other venues after that, this was it. So I hope you enjoy this castle. That is the actual lock which um, I'll try and get obviously better when we're outside. And we're just coming around the corner. Even this driveway, this approach is just spectacular. More bumps, <laughs> sorry about that. There she is, it just takes my breath away each time. It's absolutely stunning. Yes, that's helpful husband, thank you very much. <laughs> Oh, we're getting the bits of the car in. I'll obviously show you outside, but that coming up that sweeping driveway with all those tall trees, and then this is what you see at the end. The castle is just absolutely stunning. And it is such an amazing place to come if you ever get the chance. Irish hospitality at its best. The staff are amazing. It's so welcoming. Just a beautiful, beautiful place. Isn't she just breathtaking? This is the new part of the hotel that was added on and then this takes you over to the original castle which has been restored but still the original building. I absolutely love this place. Not only just because we got married in it, it has to be one of my most favourite places on earth. When I come here I just feel like it's like home, it's just so welcoming and beautiful and just, I just love it. Oh, just this approach. I remember coming down those stairs in my wedding dress, waiting to go out to the car with my dad who is no longer with us. Oh, this place, sorry, I've been getting a bit emotional. Just brings back a huge amount of memories. Well, this'll help get you into the Christmas spirit. I'm sorry for the emotion there, but I just, I remember my wedding day. So clearly coming down there and my dad waiting. This is the room and I apologize for the uh, emotion at the bottom of the stairs there. I really wasn't expecting that. Um, it's the first time we've been back here since my dad passed. And obviously he was here when we got married. So that was a, a little bit unexpected, but maybe in hindsight, I should have had more of an idea. So anyway, so this this is the standard rooms in Loch Esk. Um, we have been lucky enough to stay here before and stay in the suites. We were obviously in the presidential suite they call, they use for the bridal suite when we get married. And whenever we were staying a few times coming up to the wedding, they um, gave us complimentary upgrades. But <laughs> this is not so bad for being a standard room with the four poster bed. And it has in this little closet is like a walk-in wardrobe with ironing board and um, robes and things. And then into the bathroom, it has, it has the bath 
and then these two doors one of them is the shower and one of them is the toilet and then these is the sink i i just absolutely love it here the feeling coming back here is just just love it um and then i wore coming down my 19, which I just love, <laughs> if you haven't got that yet. I have no makeup on because I don't really, it's just because traveling down in case you wondered why I look um, like a scary person. Um, this leather jacket is Pepe and it is like sold. Um, top is Ted Baker and I have my Chloe Susanna boots on, which I absolutely love. And with me, if anybody was ever in doubt that it's still heavily used, is the very worn, very battered, very uh, much loved <laughs> GM Neverfull that still hasn't been replaced. And if we look, this is the first time I've actually stayed on the ground floor, um, but out the window you can see the statues that are all around the castle. So it's it's really beautiful. Cheers. Slauncha. Apparently that's a proper Irish pint of Guinness. This is the main bar area. All the lights are causing a bit of a glare. And the thing I love about this hotel so much is the amount of open fires. The little corners of this stunning hotel just continue to surprise. Look at that. So beautiful. There are little nooks and crannies in here everywhere with fires, which I just absolutely love, an open fire. And it takes us round. It's stunning. Now, wouldn't that just get you into the Christmas spirit? It's just so pretty. Obviously, nowhere is immune to the sanitation stands. I love the deep mahogany wood, it just looks so lux luxurious. Cheers! And this, I am told, is a proper Irish pint of Guinness in front of the fire. look over here at what came with us all the things that you see in the videos of most used still absolutely loving this nice mini it's great for makeup and travel and tonight's outfit please ignore the mess behind me we have just left a bomb site in this hotel room but this is my outfit for dinner tonight i love the way this swishes this um is a long wrap around ted baker skirt that is I bought this for going to Egypt for my husband's 30th. So this skirt is eight and a half years old. I just have on it with it a Ted Baker jumper that is probably about three or four years old. And then <laughs> you can see the look and the just the complete joy in my face with this bag. I have my Chanel graffiti mini rectangle. I love this bag. I absolutely love it. It's just the graffiti and the iridescent and Oh, absolutely love it. So this is coming with me. I have on my bangles and I have on the little Chanel CC studs. And then that, that is tonight's outfit. I just want to swoosh. And oh, yes, shoes. I have on these leopard print dune heels, which are about £60, but I get so much wear out of because they're actually quite comfortable. And yeah, that is us. And now we're off for dinner. See you soon.
Now, I was not expecting to show you this. We have woken up and it's snowing. There will be a white Christmas time in Donegal. Oh, it's so pretty. I'll try and get round to the front of the castle if it's still snowing, but that looks, <laughs> look at it fall and that doesn't look like it's going anywhere. We've got, oh my goodness. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Isn't she magnificent? We spin round to the helipad, which I'm um, sorry to say we didn't arrive by. And then walk down through the forest towards the lake. Just zoom in a little bit to see all that snow capping the mountains, like a postcard. The lake is literally like glass. So still. See every reflection in it, it's absolutely stunning. So beautiful. And now we have the sunshine. Welcome to Ireland comes to mind. <laughs> the scenery is second to none. You see the snow capped mountains in the background. That's Harvey's point across the lock. And it is just so picturesque and stunning. This has to be one of my favourite rooms in the hotel. So stunning. Okay, so we still got the very messy room, but this is what we're wearing tonight. So I have on my sha Nell. <laughs> Love these Chanel earrings. They just make feel or make me feel so dressy when I put them on. I have on a new Ted Baker top that I got in the Black Friday sale. I have my little Chanel brooch on the glittery one, which I absolutely love. Um, and then these are very very old Ted Baker trousers that I have only very recently been able to fit back into which I'm quite very, well, very, very excited about. And then the shoes, I have on my Christian Louboutin um, 120s. Because we're staying in the hotel, I can wear these because that's the extent of where I have to go. If we had to go anywhere and walk, these would be a no-no. If you watched my um, 10 things I don't buy anymore, these shoes are definitely one of them. And then I have my, oh, how did I leave this out of my, if I could only keep three bags? So I have the Chanel um, Graffiti Reissue, which I absolutely love. And then on my arm, I just have my two Hermes bangles, which I also love. And that is us out for dinner. This is the last date night, tomorrow night, tomorrow back home to the children. So let's have fun. And we're definitely Irish. <laughs> Heading home, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the very beautiful, very fabulous Loch Ness Castle. And again, thank you so much. Take care. I hope you're well, and I'll see you in the next one. Wandering with Irish countryside. This is what actually happens. <laughs> just, just along the road, and over here too. <laughs>